The lush mansion was a symbol of luxury and power, with high walls and top-notch security, showing Jungkook's position as the leader of mafia. Inside, the house was a mix of elegance and comfort. Wan sat in the fancy dining room, sipping her morning tea and watching the sun rise through the big windows. Her twins, Minjun and Mina, were already at the table with their different personalities clear as always. Minjun, the bad boy heartthrob, lounged in his chair with a confident air, while Mina, bold and lively yet obedient, sat upright, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Minjun, morning, mom, he greeted flashing his trademark grin. Vyan, morning, sweetie. She ruffled his hair affectionately before turning to Mina. Vyan, morning, darling. Mina, good morning, mom. She said brightly, her smile lighting up the room. Just then, Jungkook entered the room, giving off an aura of power. Despite his tough reputation, his eyes softened the moment he saw his family. He walked over to Vine, bending down to place a gentle kiss on her lips. Jungkook, good morning, my queen. Vine, good morning, love. She replied, her heart fluttering as it always did in his presence. Minjun, as always, he scrunched his nose teasingly. Jungkook then turned to his children, his expression becoming serious. Minjun cleared his throat and shut his mouth, earning a laugh from Mina. He glared at her and she immediately used her princess card. Mina, Dad, he's scaring me. Jungkook, visit the company after your school. I got some work for you. Mina wiggled happily. That was it. Minjun always had to do extra work every time he created some trouble. He huffed annoyingly, yet agreed to his dad obediently. Jungkook, and always take care of your sister, especially when you two are out. Minjoo, don't worry dad, I got it covered, I'll keep her in my pocket. He patted Mina's head. Mina, I'll be fine, Dad. He doesn't even let me breathe every time you ask him to take extra care. Mina interjected confidently, though she appreciated the concern. Vyan, they'll be fine, sweetie. Our Mina can fight well. Mina made a proud face and finally Jungkook calmed down. After the breakfast, the twins left to school while Jungkook left to his office, but not before showering Vine with his love and affection. The day passed quickly and soon it was evening. The twins returned. The silent home suddenly filled up with their bickering and Vine didn't need to see them to know they were back. Mina, you don't have to flirt with every girl who looked your way, Minjun. She rolled her eyes. Minjun, someone's got to keep up the family charm. He shot back with a wink, earning a smack from her.
Mina, you are impossible. Don't come to me to save you from dad when you fail in history again. Enough you two. Vine said, stepping between them. Vine, dinner is almost ready. Go wash up. Minjun, bet I'll beat you to the bathroom, princess. He smirked. Mina, huh, you wish? She shot back, racing up the stairs with Minjun hot on her heels. Ryan, be careful, guys. Mina, you pushed me. I'll tell dad. Minjun, stop bringing dad in everything. Accept your defeat. Vine sighed and shook her head as their bickering continued. Seriously, these kids. Later at the dining table, everyone sat down. Minjun had a horrific bite mark on his wrist where Mina bit because he was not letting her enter the washroom. Jungkook, how was your day? What's up with the mood? He asked, looking between his children. Mina crossed her arms and soared in Minjun. Mina, he pulled my hair. Minjun, she bit my arm first. Look, it looked like it came from a monster rather than a girl her size. Mina, Dad! Jungkook sighed. They were not kids anymore. He swore nothing could take that away from them. He wondered if they were going to bicker like this even after they crossed fifties. Jungkook, the one who makes up first gets my car for a full day shopping. No limit. Wan looked at him with a dissatisfied expression. Did he just think it was going to solve it? Now the two were saying I love yous to each other and arguing over who said it first. It was a mess. Jungkook's strong exterior broke under his wife's glare. Jungkook, I'll fix that, he whispered. Vine, no thank you, you'll only mess it up further. Vine, okay enough, you both will get the reward, now we eat in peace. Jungkook immediately looked at her, even if he was not mistaken. They were talking about using his card, right? Wow, great. There was no believing what these kids will get. He wouldn't be surprised if they go for things like a jet or an island. He huffed. 18 years and guess he still needed to learn how to calm two kids. Mina, I love you. She looked at Jungkook with puppy eyes and he received a grin from Minjoon as well and chuckled. Guess he had to admit his defeat this time. Vine, by the way, your dad gifted me a piano today. The kids looked at their mother with sparkly eyes. Surely, Vine loved music and playing piano. Mina, really? Now you have to play something for us? Minjun, and teach me too. Mina smacked his head. Mina, no, you'll break it like you break all the other things too. 
It's a precious gift. Minjun. Mom will decide that. Mina. Mom, I'm telling you. They started their bickering again and Vine laughed, while Jungkook looked like he was going to blow out now. She placed a hand on her arm, letting the kids have their time. Sure enough, they believed. Without the presence of these kids, the home was usually silent and felt quite empty. Jungkook and Vine were really grateful for having such a beautiful family.